deal. That's a real steal. Kind of deal here. Because he looked over all of his livestock. Yeah. Great God. And all of them were solid and been solid down through the year. Great yeah. God. But I heard Jacob saying, Amen. And they shook on it. Amen. On that deal. Amen. Amen. And Jacob went to work then. Y'all not pray with me. The Bible says he took a stick, an almond stick, and skinned it back and put it in the water. And uh, whenever the animals came to draw water or to drink water, amen. And when they gave birth, amen, they came out spotted. And they came out speckled. Great God. And over the years, over a period of time, amen, Jacob's livestock, amen, was increasing more than that of living. Great God. And after a while, don't fool yourself. Some don't want to see you prosper. Amen. They begin to hate on you. Amen. They begin to wonder how you doing all of this and that. Receive, receiving Jacob around the house. Great God. And in that time, the angel came to Jacob, telling him to go back home. And in time, family can begin to feel Family turn funny, and friends get too on me. Amen. This world get cold. It's time to go back home. I can see Jacob packing his bags. Had a good old witness him. I can see him gathering up his family, all of his children, and all of his belongings.
was sick. His name was changed. And his walk was changed. Jacob walked with a limp. Can I get a witness here? He walked with a limp. Meaning that he had to lean and depend on Jesus. He couldn't lean and depend on his craft and on his trickery. But he had to lean on Jesus. And you're all right. I said, God will fix you. He will fix you. On your way back home. And Bethel. And Bethel. Jacob got acquainted with God. And Bethel. He built an altar. His life was filled with altar. And Bethel. God changed his life. That's when we come to church. That's when we come to church. That's when we come to Christ. This is the house pillar. And somebody here today needs fixing. You're in the right place. And God is able to fix where it's wrong. If you ain't got your business fixed, if you ain't got your house in order, if you ain't got your life together, you can't do it on your own. No matter how hard you try, you can't do it on your own. You can't do it on your own. No matter how hard you try, Jesus can fix it. How I many you know Jesus can fix it? 